Hey guys and welcome to my first video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a marble system like this. So everyone has been wondering, how do you make this uh, marble testing? Because everyone says, how do you make that? How do you make that? How do you make that? Please tell us how you make it. Please tell me the, well, this one's going to hurt and take damage. I can do that. I need to figure out tutorial. How? How did you make that? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do this, except you won't be able to control it, but if I get enough likes, then I will make that. So, let's get straight into it. So, I'll show you that I'm going to a brand new base plate. And guys, the links to the scripts will be in the description. Even though you don't learn anything, I suppose if you really want, then they'll be there in the description. You can choose whatever you want to be your base plate. Always remember to insert a spawn to wherever you want to spawn. Insert a new part. You can you can customize this however you want. I'm just gonna put it green. Scale it down. So now this is what we'll be touching to activate the marble. Name this touch. Then remember to anchor it. Insert a script. Inside the script, it'll be in the description, but I'm just gonna write it. As right here, you say game.repairstorage.wall. So, what you want to do is insert your marble. Insert a sphere. You can color this however you want. I'm just going to put my transparency 0.5. And guys, make sure this is unanchored. And you can make it collidable if you really want. So now, rename this to wall. Then, insert a script. Inside the script, this is going to be the different colors that you want. Or you can just leave this part and you can just leave it the color you want. Guys, if you go ahead and play, you'll see that the ball changes colors. Oh yeah, that's what we haven't finished. So now as you can see, it's bright yellow because that's what I put in my script. I said bright yellow. So it chooses any of these colors. So now that we're done with that, drag it into that picture. But first, you choose where you want the ball to spawn. I'll make it so that it spawns right in front of the touch. Then drag into that page script. You can close that script. Now let's go back to the touch script.
let's see, R15 or not. I'm gonna have to publish this game. Yes. Now guys, you can choose if you want an R15 or not. I'm just gonna use R15. So if it's R15, say, upper torso. Upper torso. So guys, now we are all done. And guys, here you can change this to H dot sit equal to. That just makes it so that you sit inside the marble. Or you can do it this way, which makes you stand inside the marble. And as you can see, we go into the marble. So guys, that's all for today. If you want me to make it so that you can control the marble, and like move it around and everything then that will be in the next video and guys also right here you don't need to write this if you don't want to because look i'll show you it does not make a difference as you can see we still go inside i can't move or anything and then also guys, inside the touch, if you change this to h.6 equals 3, then that, then that just means that you sit inside marble, just like this. So as you can see, I'm now sitting. Anyway guys, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!